Are you Tragwax is back and welcome to another video here on my channel guys and today I want to show you my 2H sorcerer build that I used in the last weeks and yeah what should I say that build makes a lot of fun for zero deal it's a bit old school with uppercut but it makes a lot of fun and yeah I took some weeks for this build because I was testing different sets and in the last videos you saw and some people wrote it already in the comments I used Barlog and Wretched Vitality, but in the last days I changed it and I found something new that I really enjoy for solo and do PvP. But in a bigger size group, I would still say, guys, go with Barlog and Wretch. But I tell you this now when we take a look onto the sets. And we start on the front bar, and here I'm going with the Tarnished Nightmare Mall in Sharpen with a shock damage enchantment. Yeah, Tarnished, perfect for crit build, so Kashid fits perfectly here as well. And it gives us a good proc, a good AoE proc every 8 seconds. And this is so good with the 2H together with the combo, uppercut and 2 downbreaker. And then tarnished procs and you have the major berserk as well from the uppercut morph, from the, um, the wrecking blow morph. Um, then yeah, it melts the enemy. It hits so hard, it's so good. It's a good set for a combo and definitely one of the meta sets at the moment, 100%. And yeah, we are going here with Tarnished Nightmare Mall. And on the back bar, I'm going with a set that is a bit underrated in my opinion. Hatchlings Shell. And this set on the back bar is mad in my opinion. For 1vx or 2vx PvP, this set makes you so incredible tanky when you're fighting Zergs. It helps you a lot. You get every 6 seconds. Uh, in PvP it's around when the um, death dealer is active. 4.5 and let's say you take a well or you have a warden in your crew with more health you get around 5k damage shield every six seconds and this together stacked with the ice stuff heavy attack shield and the sorcerer shield is mad they can't break your shields and yeah two times armor maximum health we have 30k resistance when i buff up with this build as well let's here take a look on the stats you guys can see 31k spell resistance 30k physical resistance with three damage shields active, they can't break it. And we still, even if they break the the damage shield with Death Dealer active, we have over 40k health. Have fun. This build is so tanky and still hits like a truck. And it's a perfect zero deal build in my opinion. For zero deal, it's perfect for solo duo PvP. In group PvP, I say it. Go with Ratched on back bar. And here go with Barlog. I'm going now with Roxa for the sustain. Yeah, this is the replacement for Wretched for the sustain. The sustain is a bit yeah, weaker for sure. With Wretched you have better sustain, but signs that you get so much defense with Hatchling Shell that you are yeah, you don't need to shield so often. You know what I mean? You don't need like to be waste so much resources in the defense because the set helps you a lot already. So the sustain is also fine with Roxa and yeah, like I said, in crew PvP, go with Barlog, time your ultimates with Barlog, then it shreds completely because Barlog, Tarnished, Major Bear, Zerg and everything, this is mad. But for solo or do when you get Zerged hard, this setup makes a lot of fun because it definitely makes you a lot tankier. So, yeah, I'm going here with Roxa, a heavy head, Hatchling Shell, heavy chest and reinforced. All body pieces are with a multi-effect enchantment. I'm going with... Um, Two pieces in pen, the chest and reinforced, and the rest is well fitted. Four medium, one light, two heavy. Yeah, um, one piece trainee for sure. Uh, where is it here? The the raised the sash of the trainee here in light, well fitted. And then I'm going with hatchling shell necklace infused with weapon and spell damage and magicka recovery. Death dealer infused the same enchantment and also here the ring of the hatchling shell. Okay, these are the sets that I'm using and now I show you quick the potions because a lot of people ask me what potions I'm using. Sometimes yeah, for night plates I'm using here the detect pots, but most of the time I'm using here this knockback resistance, spell critical and maximum magicka. Since we have Roxa, the stamina rack is enough and the most of the stamina we get back with the dark deal anyway. So we only need magicka. We get the spell critical here, so I don't need to slot the camouflaged hunter and have another skill slot. And knockback is also saving us some stem and makes it good to time the potion with um, 
your ultimate combo, for example. Use the potion before so they can't interrupt your combo and you can yeah, you don't get stunned mid combo. Okay. Now we take a look, a quick look on your attribute points. I'm going here with 64 points into health. I'm using the also got food, the gold food. You can also use the purple one if you want. It's cheaper. But yeah, for sure. I'm going with the gold food, the shadow mundus, and I'm vampire stage three. Skills. A quick look on the skills. I'm going here with the Haunting Curse, Streak, Critical Surge, Crystal Fragments, Wrecking Blow, Darm Breaker, On the Back Bar, The Temporary Guard, Hurricane, Hardened Ward, Resoaring Rigor, Elemental Skill, and the Dark Deal. Yeah, those are the skills. When you play crew PvP and someone else is applying the Major Breach, you can replace that skill. Um, there are different things that you could do. You can say when you don't, when you play a bigger group or something, you can also use a resto stuff on the back and play resto ultimate or something then. But when you say you want to stay with eye staff for the shield, then you can replace the skill and put on your front, uh, put the critical search from your front bar on your back bar, for example, and you can put on the bound ornaments or you put on the executioner. Now then you have a good finisher as well. Both is nice, but when you don't have the major breach in your group or you play solo, breach is a must have. It increases your damage a lot, so definitely stay with it. Okay, now we take a look on the champion points, the blue ones, and here I'm going with Fighting Finesse, Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, and Ironclad. In the red ones, Fortified, Pain's Refuge, Bastion, and Celerity. Yeah, guys, this is the build and. It's a lot of fun. I definitely will play it a bit more. I'm hyped for the next patch. The, then I will definitely update all classes. Um, right now, I think it's not worth anymore because I uh, I can't get it anywhere in the time anymore to update all classes. You guys know I'm testing my builds a lot. And yeah, next month there's already the next chapter with a lot of new things, new skills and everything will change. So I'm waiting for the next chapter and then I will update all the classes again so yeah stay calm i will update them but i wait for the next chapter maybe i do one more class here with this dlc i'm not sure right now or i stay for the rest of the dlc with the sorg i can't say it right now but yeah next chapter definitely i will update all classes for sure i will need some time i can't update them in the first week or but I will try to get it in the in the next month then that I update all classes and make a good build for every class. Okay guys, then we see us in the next video. Now I put some gameplay at the end of this video. Have a nice day and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have questions to the build, feel free to ask me in the comments below and bye bye.